ML Perf is the leading industry standard benchmark designed to provide unbiased evaluations of training and inference performance of hardware, software, and services. In this last round of ML Perf, the NVIDIA EOS AI supercomputer increased its size by three times, scaling to over 10,000 Hopper GPUs connected via NVIDIA's Quantum 2 InfiniBand. This new and improved EOS system allowed us to deliver record-shattering large language model performance, setting six new performance records. This round also marked the introduction of text-to-image Gen AI, allowing NVIDIA's platform to set a new industry standard for stable diffusion training. We also work closely with Microsoft Azure to build an AI supercomputer in the cloud that is nearly identical to our very own EOS system. Azure powers intelligence services like Copilot and ChatGPT with large language models. To create and train improved versions of these LLMs, supercomputers with massive computational capabilities are required. Together, we both set a new scale record for large language model training. Using Microsoft's NDH100 v5 cloud, Equipped with over 10,000 Hopper GPUs interconnected with InfiniBand networking, we were able to triple previous scale in just six months. This resulted in a 3x improvement in the time to train the GPT-3 175 billion parameter model compared to the previous ML Perf round. Model sizes are rapidly expanding, demanding increased computational power. NVIDIA has consistently spearheaded the adoption and integration of cutting edge memory standards over time. With the introduction of Volta, Ampere, and Hopper, NVIDIA led the way in pioneering GPUs integrated with the latest HBM2, 2E, and HBM3 memory technologies. The Hopper architecture was designed to be forward-thinking and supports not just HBM2, E, and 3, but also HBM3, E, ensuring readiness for the future. This approach enables us to swiftly introduce more advanced products to the market and enhancing our agility. To optimize compute performance, the H200 stands as the world's premier GPU featuring HBM3E memory, marking a significant milestone in our pursuit of maximizing computational capabilities. The H200 offers a remarkable leap in memory performance, boasting 4.8 terabytes a second of memory bandwidth and showcasing a substantial 1.4x increase compared to the H100 GPU. H200 also significantly expands memory capacity by nearly 1.8x, reaching a total of 141 gigabytes per GPU. The integration of faster and more extensive HBM memory serves to accelerate performance across computationally demanding tasks, including generative AI models and HPC applications, while optimizing GPU utilization and efficiency. Moreover, the HGX H200 is seamlessly compatible with HGX100 systems, allowing our partners to support H200 with the same server systems designed for H100, eliminating the need for redesign. Our relentless pursuit of energy-efficient performance improvements through hardware and software innovation remain a key focus. For LLM performance, we continue to optimize the software stack to extract better results from our GPUs. H100 is now 11 times more performant than A100 on GPT-3 inference. And we're not stopping there. H200 measured today is 18 times more performant than A100 on the same GPT-3. This is just the beginning, and we're actively enhancing software optimizations for Hopper, promising continued performance enhancements for both H100 and 200 in the upcoming months. Our roadmap will continue to drive innovation, pushing the boundaries of performance and efficiency. Our leading OEM and CSP partners are working to make HGX H200 systems available everywhere. Even applications that have adopted accelerated computing often have large portions which remain CPU limited, either because the cost of communication to the GPU is too high or refactoring the vast lines of code still running on CPUs hasn't been taken on. The Grace Hopper Superchip offers a first-of-its-kind NVLink chip-to-chip interconnect so that both the CPU and the GPU can have coherent access to 624 gigabytes of high-speed memory. This capability bridges the gap for legacy CPU applications and makes accelerating HPC in ISO standard languages truly possible. Grace Hopper is nearly two times more energy efficient than x86 and H100 configurations. Depending on the needs of the workload, Grace Hopper can dynamically share power between the CPU and GPU 
to optimize application performance, making it an excellent choice for energy efficient HPC centers. The Grace Hopper GH200 Superchip is designed to provide an incredible compute capability for the most demanding generative AI and HPC applications, like AI chatbots, vector databases, graph neural networks, and scientific simulations. Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG LLM, leverages external files or documents to enhance generative AI model accuracy. This technique provides 11 times more energy efficiency than fine-tuning AI methods. A single GH200 using TensorRT LLM is 100 times faster than a dual-socket x86 CPU system. The GH200 platform also enables low-latency coupling of quantum computers for error correction and future quantum accelerated supercomputers. The quantum Fourier transform operation harnesses GH200's high bandwidth memory and compute capabilities to achieve a speed up of more than 90x compared to dual socket x86 systems. MILK, a popular quantum chromodynamics application used for studying particle physics, used a single Grace Hopper superchip to deliver 40 times more performance than state of the art dual CPU servers. Lastly, ICON, like many climate and weather applications, sped up eight times over non-accelerated systems with Grace Hopper. We have partners and customers excited to get their hands on GH200 to take advantage of its transformational performance and energy efficiency. Today, we've announced that Grace Hopper is coming to dozens of OEM system partners like Dell Technologies, Eviden, HPE, Lenovo, Quanta, and Supermicro. Today, Lambda and Vulture also announced early access to GH200-powered cloud instances. CoreWeave announced their plans to make GH200 available starting in Q1 of 2024. Grace Hopper early access systems have been purchased by over 50 global enterprises and organizations, including NASA Ames Research and Total Energies. GH200 Superchip will also be accessible via NVIDIA's Launchpad next month, providing early access to NVIDIA's GH200 hardware and software online. With the introduction of Grace Hopper, a new wave of supercomputers, AI supercomputers, are emerging. If we look back over time, we can see the explosive growth of AI. In 2017, the first GPU accelerated supercomputers were the Subami 3 and Pease Date systems. Sierra and Summit, powered by a combined 45,000 of NVIDIA's V100 GPUs, were the first exascale AI supercomputers, delivering a combined peak of seven exaflops of AI. With the release of Ampere A100 GPUs, AI and deep learning were clearly recognized as a tool for science that would revolutionize scientific computing. Systems like Perlmutter, Leonardo, and the Joules Booster added another 20 exaflops of AI performance for the scientific community. Today, Grace Hopper is powering the next wave of new exaflop AI systems around the globe. New systems are being built as we speak, including the ALP system at CSCS, Venado at Los Alamos National Labs, Vista at TAC, Isambard AI at Bristol, and Jupiter at ULIC. By the end of 2024, an additional 200 exaflops of AI, all powered by Grace Hopper, will be brought online for the supercomputing community to enjoy. Let's take a closer look at some of the systems coming online next year that will define that new class of Grace Hopper exascale AI supercomputers. First, we'll get an update on the ALPS system from Thomas Schultes, the director of the Swiss National Supercomputing Center. The ALPS infrastructure that we have started to install in 2020 is expected to be available for research early next year. We've already stood up a first Grace Hopper based system with HPE at their Chippewa Falls facility and testing has commenced. Now we are looking forward to the next extension of ALPS with thousands of Grace Hopper superchips. I am very confident that ALPS will make major contributions to scientific advancements. Foundational models will be leveraged and trained to support verticals in weather climate modeling, medicine, robotics, and many more. While developing ALPS, we have been collaborating with Meteo Swiss, ECMWF, as well as scientists from ETH Zürich's EXCLAIM and NVIDIA's Earth2 projects to create an infrastructure that will push the envelope in all dimensions of big data analytics and extreme scale computing. We are also working very closely with HPE and Los Alamos National Labs to deliver the Venado system, 
the first GH200 AI supercomputer that will be deployed in the United States. Today, we're also announcing that TAC, the Texas Advanced Computing Center, has selected NVIDIA Grace CPUs and Grace Hopper superchips to power its Vista system. Dan Stanzioni, Executive Director at TAC, will tell us more about Vista. Vista is the latest in our long line of National Science Foundation funded open science systems. Vista is roughly half comprised of NVIDIA Grace Hopper nodes that are CPU and a GPU tightly integrated in each node, and then roughly half NVIDIA Grace Grace nodes, which is two ARM-based CPUs and a single node for our CPU-only users. We're using the latest generation of InfiniBand technologies to link the nodes together. 200 gigabits per second between the CPU nodes and at 400 gigabits per second between the GPU nodes. We have a pretty tightly integrated solution here. InfiniBand, CPU, GPU, all running a common software stack and very low latency integration between all the components. There's also really impressive energy efficiency gains. When we looked across our stacks, we feel like the maturity of that GPU software stack and the wide variety of tools that are out there, both proven in the scientific computing space with CUDA over the last 15 or 20 years, and now particularly with the proliferation of AI tools that are out there, it makes sense to take a step in this direction and let our user base experience this. Vista, we really see as a bridge between our current Frontera system, and we'll follow it along with our next really large-scale deployment, currently codenamed Horizon. We hope that it's really a direct follow-on to Vista with the next generation of GPUs, ARM CPUs, and InfiniBand from NVIDIA. So Vista is really the stepping stone to move our users from the kinds of systems we've done in the past to looking at this new Grace ARM CPU and Hopper GPU tightly coupled combination. And we're looking to scale that out by a factor of 10 or 15 from what we're deploying with Vista when we deploy Horizon in a couple of years, uh, Congress permitting. We look forward to working closely with Dell Technologies and the team at TAC to bring Vista online next year. In September, Thomas Lippert, the head of the ULIC Supercomputing Center, announced that its next supercomputer Jupiter will be built on technologies from Eviden, NVIDIA, Partech, and Cypro. Jupiter will be the world's most powerful AI supercomputer. Powered by nearly 24,000 GH200 superchips, all interconnected via NVIDIA InfiniBand, Jupiter is a 90 exaflop AI supercomputer, 45 times more than Ulix's previous Joule's booster system, and will deliver one exaflop of performance on HPC applications as well. Next, we'll hear from Christelle Michelson, who leads Ulix Research Group on quantum information processing. She'll tell us more about how Jupiter will be used to power scientific innovation. Jupiter is a new class of supercomputer. It's a system designed for AI and simulations. It's the world's strongest compute booster, and it's advancing research in foundational models like physics ML, LLM, and diffusion. It will revolutionize scientific research across climate, materials, drug discovery, and quantum computing. Jupiter's architecture also allows for the seamless integration of quantum algorithms with parallel HPC algorithms. And this is mandatory for effective quantum HPC hybrid simulations. The Jupiter system will be capable of simulating up to 50 perfect qubits, which we also call ideal qubits, using state vector simulations. Collaboration is really at the heart of our strategy to exploit Jupiter's extraordinary performance capabilities in full. So together with NVIDIA, Eviden and Partec, we are embedded in a perfect complementary partnership. And this we see as crucial to the success of our very ambitious project. Jupiter will feature a new Quad NVIDIA GH200 superchip configuration. The Quad GH200 features an innovative node architecture with a total of 288 ARM NeoVerse cores, all capable of achieving 16 petaflops of AI performance alone, with 2.3 terabytes a second of high-speed memory access. Each GH200 in the four-way system is connected via the high-speed NVIDIA NVLink chip-to-chip -chip connection, providing a fully coherent architecture. We are thrilled to announce that NVIDIA will partner with Eviden to deliver a GH200-powered AI supercomputer based on Eviden's Bolsa Squana XH3000 liquid-cooled architecture. 
Today, we're also announcing that the HPE Cray EX2500 system with the same quad GH200 architecture will power many of the first AI supercomputers coming online next year. Today, we've covered a lot of exciting news. Continued full stack innovation in accelerated computing is paving the path for sustainable computing. We announced the NVIDIA HGX H200, the world's leading AI computing platform. The combination of faster and larger HBM memory accelerates the performance of computationally intensive workloads like generative AI and HPC applications. And it's not just about the hardware. NVIDIA is delivering software solutions to power the workloads of the modern supercomputer. This includes solutions like KuQuantum and Kudu Quantum, the foundation of today's quantum computing ecosystem. NVIDIA Modulus, NEMO, and BioNEMO are enabling researchers to develop and deploy foundational AI models for science. These hardware and software innovations are creating a new class of AI supercomputers. The new Grace Hopper AI supercomputers coming online next year will deliver an additional 200 exaflops of AI performance for this community. As we navigate this journey, these advancements provide not just amazing technology, but a more sustainable and impactful future. Thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing all of you at Supercomputing 2023.